So second day of Pan Ams, uh, amazing. Like this competition is always uh, kind of like a, a warm up for worlds. Like people start seeing like uh, where everyone is at and like uh, what their level is, what needs to be worked. Like they have a couple months before worlds. I think everyone here is uh, with the same mission. Having a performance that is like making a statement to to go to worlds with like a, not only with a lot of confidence, but like showing everyone in the division that they are the high seed. I'm happy with the performance I was able to, to output out there just because uh, I was able to perform some concepts and techniques uh, about defensive skills that we teach a lot in uh, the OJ, uh, something that I've been training lately a lot. I was sure that some of my students were watching, so I was a little bit like feeling a little bit of that pressure of like, oh, I have to perform the stuff that I teach them, you know, uh, or at least try, you know. So uh, I think that helped me a lot too because in the moment that I was thinking like, man, I think there is no way I'm going to be able to come back with the scoreboard. On my mind, I was, well, at least I need to try and like, at least be able you know, to escape or, or, the, or be able to apply some of the defensive skills we, we work on. So I think I was able to stay calm, uh, just like escape uh, all the bad positions that I got into and then come back on the scoreboard. So at the end of the day, I feel happy and satisfied with that. And of, of course, part of that is uh, because of my, my coaches and my training partners, of, of course. I feel like satisfied, you know, it's something that I've been chasing for a while already. Uh, I didn't have, my first year as a brown belt, I didn't have the best performance. I had a little bit of, a, <clears throat> of a, a chain of bad results until I decided to move into to California and trade full-time at AOJ. And since then, like, just not only my jiu-jitsu, but overall my life has been improving. And I've been able to get more mature, not only on the mats, but also like in the way I, I am out of the mats, you know, uh, and I feel that Today I was able to see those results and be able to tell that uh, that decision was worth it. I feel like everybody uh, brings a different story, right? And uh, he came from uh, Argentina. So I think it's always like, a, it's always a special when the person, they did something to get there, right? Like it's always like, he like moved from, from a different country or like uh, faced any kind of adversity. And uh, he got there as a brown belt and had like, uh, and last year we started working like really hard to raise his level to be able to accomplish this type of uh, goals. And uh, he also uh, became one of the main instructors in the academy, like really good instructor. He competes very often, competing all the opens, like winning double gold in the opens. Like that was like the first signs that he was going the right direction and like he was raising his level. And for sure that impacted his, uh, his performance today. I feel like this is an advice for everybody that is watching and wants to raise their level. Because at first when like you, you go to a major competition and you don't have the results that you want, like there is like a lot of work that needs to be done to get to this top level. And it starts with like uh, planning, doing the work in the academy, doing the smaller competitions as a way for you to uh, evaluate your level and also to start experience like moments like this, like get, get comfortable with the adrenaline too. And uh, today, like he was pretty confident. Like he, the first match, he had the kid that was a world champion before from Alliance, uh, one of Mario Hayes' students, and he was able to submit him with a toe hold. Then he had like another tough match against a kid from uh, Czech Matt, another good competitor. And uh, this kid that he just fought in the finals was like the world champion from uh, last year, Purple Belt. So it's like uh, this is the type of performance that we want. We want to compete against guys that are accomplished too in the lower belts, and they're building a story to to get that to the black belt at the highest level and uh and uh 
Yeah, today like was, was amazing. It was his best performance so far in a major competition. And I want to keep building on top of it because there's a lot more to, to experience in the future.